Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. All right, y'all see what we got going on here today. As y'all see the thumbnail, y'all read the title under the thumbnail. Yeah, man, today's video is dealing with Young Dolph PRE affiliates and Yo Gotti CMG affiliates. So check this out. The city officials in Memphis, they see the summer just started. And in order to limit the reckless behavior of the youth engaging in criminal activity, the best thing they feel they could do at this time is raid the camps that's affiliated with Trula and Double R. Because y'all can see it for yourself, these dudes on some real get back activity for Young Dolph Cookie Shop setup, which just resulted in CO Tizzy getting sent up a few days ago in Orange Mound. Now, if y'all not familiar with CO Tizzy, he was a Trula affiliate who put a target on his own back when he would assist Straight Drop and other Trula guys snatch the different paper art artist chains and post it on social media. All that did was give CEO Tizzy and Straight Drop the attention they wanted, which was to be named suspects tied to the cookie shop setup. Well, Raven and Maurice, who let in Govin through the back door, assisted Yo Gotti brother Big Jook by luring Young Dolph to Makita's where Straight Drop and Lil Migo cousin Cornelia Smith allegedly trailed Dolph to Airways and sent shells at the cookie shop where Young Dolph was the only one who got sent up, which is all still very suspicious that Pam, Maurice, or Raven was not in the cookie shop during the whole Young Dolph setup. Not to mention the guys hopping off the white bins, whom is Straight Drop and Cornelia Smith, they got shells flying everywhere, and the only person who got hit was Young Dolph Again, that sounds very strange. But like I told y'all before, the reason they could say all that because they know the Scorpion unit hid the real camera footage pertaining to that whole Young Dolph setup that day of November the 17th, 2021. But as always, let's first pay our respects and say rest in peace to Young Dolph, condolences to his family, and much love to all my folks in Dolph land. I'm trying to tell y'all with straight drop brother Jamarcus Letting them people know everybody position on your Gotti chessboard, y'all will soon get justice for Young Dolph's untimely demise. Because again, once the judge start throwing out those numbers, these dudes, they gonna be willing to tell everything. And that's what we seeing happen right now in real time. And dealing with that, that's another reason why Yo Gotti, his brother Big Jook, they guard dog Black Youngster, and Lil Migo, they been laying low. Because they know in time, the Alphabet Boys about to start knocking at they dope. Now, pertaining to Young Dolph and CO Tizzy's untimely demise, we have Trula and Double R, they back at it again. Each camp trying to fend their reputation through unresolved street beef by sending shells at one another, trying to prove a point, which keeps creating a vicious cycle of destructive behavior in our communities. Goes to show we as a whole need better role models. But like I always say, Whatever adults put down, the youth, they guaranteed to pick it up, the good and the bad. Now, the reason why I say that because initially, we know the beef started between Young Dolph and Yo Gotti. Trickle down to those that's affiliated with PRE and CMG, to those that look up to them, which is where Chula and Double R come into play. I informed you guys already. The only reason Chula chose size with CMG because jealousy came into play when Dolph would do music with some double R guys, which at that time, double R and Chula were already knee deep in their street beef. But the thing is, young Dolph, he seen a discourse between the two camps. It was trying to find a middle ground where they could come together, make some legit money, get out the streets and do something productive for the benefit of Memphis as a whole. But young Dolph intentions to create somewhat of a peace treaty between Chula and double R wasn't received properly because you had some guys who felt like Young Dolph was playing both sides when that wasn't the case at all. Young Dolph was trying to make everybody happy by putting them in position to get some real money in the rap industry, which by default is way more than Yo Gotti did for any of those cats that's affiliated with Trula. What I'm saying is Young Dolph, he had a soft spot for the youth. Young Dolph, he knew what it felt like to be in that position to where you just needed one chance to show your worth through your talents. So Dolph, he never had the mentality to use these young dudes 
like they were pods a part of a bigger plan. And we all know that young Dolph, he treated those folks fairly. Same thing he did for the people at Makita's. But on the flip side, you got the other guys. That was the Pepperot Ops, whom y'all already know, Yo Gotti, his brother Big Jook, and they guard dog Black Youngster. They made matters worse. Because apparently, they will hire some truly guys and have them engage in criminal activity with Young Dolph Pepperot affiliates for their own entertainment. The only thing that did was perpetuate the beef between Trula and Double R, getting all these young dudes caught up in a jam that could have been avoided. But this is what you get. But this is what you get when you have Big Jook and Black Youngster doing everything in their power to discredit Young Dolph Pepperot through pure jealousy. Because as I stated before, if Young Dolph never had the mentality to where he campaigned to build an empire, then Yo Gotti or Big Juk would have never paid no attention to Pepper Ralph Frank. It's only because Young Dolph became real competition, they had an issue with that. But y'all gotta understand, most guys, they respect a certain level of competition because it helps keep them on game. And then you have some guys, they wanna try their best to avoid the competition because they already comfortable in their position. And I feel by Yo Gotti being looked at as that main guy for a few years until Young Dolph was able to build up himself along with his paper route brand. That's when Yo Gotti and his brother Big Juk had an issue with Young Dolph. And it also goes back to them seeing Young Dolph make the moves that he made to place himself in that position and them going at Young Dolph to offer him a deal to be under Yo Gotti CMG. But as you guys already know, once Young Dolph declined that offer, that's when Yo Gotti and his brother Big Juk started to discredit Young Dolph and his paper route campaign. So Young Dolph, he accepted the competition, kept his eyes on the prize, and was able to build an empire. But in all, hopefully, these Ricos and Rays will limit the shells flying from both Double R and Shula and place the spotlight back on folks from Memphis that's making real moves out there to benefit their communities. And y'all already know one of the guys who I'm talking about. He's a paper route affiliate. That's Grove Hero. Man, y'all see Grove Hero. He out there making real moves, man. And not just in Memphis. I'm talking about for the state of Tennessee as a whole. So that's why I said, instead of paying so much attention to all the back and forth between PRE and CMG that trickled down to Double R and Trula, we need to be paying attention to the cast that's trying to benefit their communities. Again, which is a Young Dolph Paper Out affiliate who is Grove Hero. Because I told y'all before, man, Young Dolph, he taught everybody that was around him how to make real money and how to keep it going. And at the same time, yes, we all know we're going to have haters in the corner. That's something that you have to be aware of. But at the same time, don't let that beef limit your success. And you could tell that's something that Young Dolph had taught these guys because Key Glock, he got the same mindset. Y'all know how many times them dudes that's affiliated with Trula tried to pick Kid Glock in the middle of that double R and Trula beef. But Kid Glock, he always avoided it. Because Young Dolph, he taught everybody around him how to make money and avoid the haters at the same time. Because we all know they exist. Because it ain't nothing but a bunch of jealous dudes that's behind you hating on the moves that you making. Plus, we don't want all this back and forth between Trula and double R to overshadow all the undiscovered talent that's going on in Memphis at this time. And that's why I say we need to shine a spotlight back on the guys that's actually making positive moves to benefit their community. And also, there's another way we could benefit ourselves and our communities if we black men stop looking at each other as enemies all the time. That's the main issue that we have in here. And that's mostly what all the street beef between Chula, Double R, PRE, and CMG is dealing with. That even for the youth in their communities, they can't put none of this beef to the side. And hopefully the youth will pay attention to those type of role models. So with that, always be aware and always stay prepared. But hey, we got more in store. It's always, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.